Cebu Air, Inc., operating as Cebu Pacific PSE, CEB, and informally known as Cebu PAC, is a Philippine low-cost airline based on the grounds of Ninoy Aquino International Airport NAIA Terminal 3, Pasay City, Metro Manila, in the Philippines. It is Asia's oldest budget or low-cost carrier airline, founded in 1988. It offers scheduled flights to both domestic and international destinations. Its main base is Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Manila, with other hubs at Mactan Cebu International Airport, Clark International Airport, Calibo International Airport Francisco Bangoy International Airport, Iloilo International Airport, and Laguindangan Airport. The airline is a subsidiary of JG Summit Holdings. Cebu Pacific is currently headed by Lance Gokongwe, presumptive heir of John Gokongwe, the chairman emeritus of JG Summit. As of January 2013, the company has 3,297 employees. 2,565 were from operations, 429 from the commercial departments, and 303 from the support departments. In October 2010, the airline completed an IPO of 30.4% of outstanding shares. In 2010, Cebu Pacific became the Philippines' largest airline based on number of passengers flown on domestic and international routes. According to Civil Aeronautics Board data, Cebu Pacific flew 2.45 million total passengers in the first quarter of 2010, nearly 110,000 more than Philippine Airlines, which carried 2.34 million systemwide during the same period. History The airline was established on 26 August 1988, and started operations on March 8, 1996. Republic Act No. 7151, which grants franchise to Cebu Air, Inc. was approved on 30 August 1991. Cebu Air, Inc. was subsequently acquired by JG Summit Holdings, owned by John Gokongwe. Domestic services commenced following market deregulation by the Philippine government. It temporarily ceased operations in February 1998 after being grounded by the government due to an accident, but resumed services later the next month following recertification of its aircraft. It initially started with 24 domestic flights daily among Metro Manila, Metro Cebu and Metro Davao. By the end of 2001, its operations had grown to about 80 daily flights to 18 domestic destinations. In the 2000s decade, Cebu Pacific was granted rights to operate international flights to the region, including Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, South Korea, Hong Kong, and Guam. International flights were launched on the 22nd of November 2001, with a twice-daily service to Hong Kong. On the 1st of March 2002, it commenced thrice-weekly flights to Seoul. Other regional flights were introduced and suspended later, however, including flights to Singapore from 6 November 2002, to January 2003, and from Manila via Subic to Seoul from December 2002, due in part to the effects of the SARS epidemic. The airline resumed its Manila to Singapore flights on August 31, 2006 and launched its direct flight from Cebu to Singapore on October 23, 2006, the first low-cost airline to serve the Cebu-Singapore-Cebu -Cebu sector, and in direct competition with Singapore Airlines subsidiary Silcare, CEB was the only Philippine carrier serving the Cebu-Singapore-Cebu -Cebu route for years until PAL resumed its direct service in 2017. The airline operates direct flights from Cebu to Hong Kong which commenced October 2, 2006, which also made CEB the only Philippine carrier to serve a Cebu-Hong Kong-Cebu route after PAL terminated its direct service and is now code-sharing with Cathay Pacific for this route. In December 2006, after a month or two of operating the new direct flights, Cebu Pacific announced that it would increase flight frequency for its Cebu Hong Kong Cebu from four to five times weekly and Cebu Singapore Cebu flights from four to six weekly effective 25 January 2007. As of January 2008, it operates regional flights to Busan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Seoul Incheon, Taipei and Bangkok beginning April 6, 2008 from its Cebu hub, and Bangkok, Guangzhou, Hong Kong, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur, Macau, Singapore, Taipei, Seoul Incheon, Shanghai and Xiamen from Manila. Cebu Pacific
S plans to begin international flights from Clark were initially unsuccessful when its request was denied. The nations involved came to an agreement that Cebu Pacific would be only allowed to operate charter flights from Clark to the respective countries. Airports. Only Singapore initially agreed to allow Cebu Pacific to fly scheduled flights from Clark to Singapore. Cebu Pacific now operates routes from Clark to Bangkok, Cebu, Hong Kong, Macau, and Singapore. In June 2007, Cebu Pacific announced an order of up to 14 brand new ATR 72 to 500 aircraft, with six firm orders and eight options. It plans to initially offer flights to Boracay, using Boracay. S. Godofredo P. Ramos Airport. On 12 November 2007, Cebu Pacific announced Davao. S. Francisco Bangoy International Airport as its fourth hub. Cebu Pacific announced that it would initially fly internationally from Davao City to Singapore, Hong Kong and fly one domestic flight to Iloilo. Both direct services from Davao to Singapore and Iloilo commenced on May 8, 2008, while the service to Hong Kong commenced on May 9, 2008. In late 2007, Cebu Pacific mentioned that it was aiming to cross the Pacific and launch non-stop flights to the United States West Coast, Houston, Texas and Chicago, Illinois by mid-2009. On 18 December 2007, Cebu Pacific announced that it would exercise options on its recent ATR 72 to 500 turboprop order, initially six firm, to increase its firm order to 10. On 19 February 2008, Cebu Pacific Air received its first brand new ATR 72 to 500 and expected to take delivery of another five ATRs from March to December 2008. The initial two ATRs fly on routes such as Cebu to Bacolod. Cebu Pacific took delivery of its 16th brand new, 179-seater Airbus A320 aircraft on 20 March 2008. The new aircraft was to support CEB's expanding international and domestic operations which include flights to 12, soon to be 15, international destinations. On 28 May 2008, Cebu Pacific was named as the world. S number one airline in terms of growth. The airline was also ranked fifth in Asia for budget airline passengers transported and 23rd in the world. The airline carried a total of almost 5.5 million passengers in 2007, up 57.4% from 2006 on the 22nd of July 2008. Cebu Pacific was the first airline to use the new Terminal 3 of the Ninoy Aquino International Airport with its flight to Cataclan being the first to depart at 0515 local time. On 1 August 2008, it moved its international operations to the terminal, thus, becoming the first airline to have regular international commercial flights from the new terminal. In August 2009, Cebu Pacific became the first airline in the Philippines to use social media. The airline created a fan page on Facebook and Twitter. On the 6th of January 2011, Cebu Pacific flew its 50 millionth passenger from Manila to Beijing. The airline aimed to reach the 100 million passengers mark in 2015. Cebu Pacific is planning to commence international long haul flights to the Middle East, the United States, Australia, and some parts of Europe using the Airbus A330 300. The first long haul flight commenced to Dubai, United Arab Emirates on 7 October 2013. Cebu Pacific is also applying for rights for a daily service to Auckland, New Zealand. On 12 February 2018, Cebu Pacific announced that their subsidiary, Sebgo, will fly daily from Manila to Batane starting March 25, 2018 until October 27, 2018. On 27 February 2018, Cebu Pacific, along with the Department of Tourism of Victoria announces the launch of 3X weekly service between Manila and Melbourne, starting 14 August 2018. Subsidiaries in May 2015, for the fourth time, TigerAir Philippines rebranded into Sebgo to reflect the relationship between TigerAir Philippines as a wholly owned subsidiary airline of its parent Cebu Pacific. By October 2015, Sebgo returned five Airbus A320 to Cebu Pacific and thereafter operated a pure turboprop fleet of ATR 72 to 500. Destinations 
Cebu Pacific currently flies to 37 domestic destinations and 27 international destinations in 15 countries across Asia Pacific. It has the most extensive domestic route network in the Philippines. Fleet In October 2006, Cebu Pacific completed the retirement of the DC-9 and the 757 and became an all-Airbus customer. As of July 2018, their fleet consisted of the following aircraft. On 16 June 2015 at the 2015 Paris Air Show, the airline announced an order for 16 ATR-72-600 aircraft for its regional branch Sebgo to meet growing demand in the Philippines for inter-island services. The airline will also be the launch customer of the new high-density Armonia cabin. On the 22nd of January 2016 the airline received its first Airbus A320 with new livery. The aircraft was delivered brand new from the Airbus factory in Toulouse, France. Airbus A320 On 2003, Cebu Pacific ordered for 15 A320s to replace the 757 to become an all-Airbus customer. Until in 2007, Cebu Pacific adds additional orders up to 7 A320s to expand domestic and international routes. The airline added more orders and retired eight old A320s. The A320 currently flies to domestic and international destinations in Southeast Asia, East Asia and Micronesia. Airbus A321 on 2016, Cebu Pacific was supposed to receive the first batch of A321 NEOS but agreed to postpone the deliveries while problems of the Pratt & Whitney PW1100G JM engines that was supposed to power the A321neo. Instead to order seven A321COs to meet ongoing strong growth on its domestic and regional network. The latest contract comes on top of an existing order for 32 A321neo. With the A321 Cebu Pacific will be able to respond to growing demand with the highest levels of efficiency. Carrying more passengers further, and at lower cost, the A321 is the perfect solution to meet the requirements of airlines worldwide in the middle of the market segment. In June 2011, Cebu Air Inc. announced that it was purchasing 30 Airbus A321 NEOS and 7 Airbus A320s for $3.8 billion, allowing it to more than double its fleet by 2021 and expand its international routes. The A320s would be delivered between 2015 and 2021, while the A321neo fleet would arrive from 2017 to 2021. The airline also took 10 additional options for the Airbus 321 NEOS. Previous outstanding orders for 18 A320s to be delivered through 2014 brought the total Airbus order to 55. The first A321 for Cebu Pacific arrived on Manila at March 22, 2018 and currently flying to domestic destinations. Until the 7 A321 CEOs delivered, the airline to launch the A321 to international destinations. Airbus A330 Before the A320 arrived on 2007, the airline ordered for six A330s to power Middle East destinations such as Dubai and primarily sometimes to be used in Cebu and Davao flights and East Asia flights. On 2016, the airline added two A330s on its orders to be used in long-haul routes. Formerly operated Partnerships Cebu Pacific was the only Philippines-based member airline of Northwest Airlines WorldPerks Award Travel Program. WorldPerks offered regular travelers the ability to obtain free tickets, first-class upgrades on flights and other types of rewards. On August 1, 2006, Northwest and Cebu Pacific ended their mileage accrual agreement. Cebu Pacific codeshares flights with Garuda Indonesia via Jakarta to Manila. On 16 May 2016, Cebu Pacific became a founding member of the world's largest low-cost carrier alliance, Value Alliance. It joined other pioneer members Singapore Airlines. Scoot, South Korea. S. Jeju Air, Thailand. 
S. Knock Air and Noak Scoot, Tiger Air, Tiger Air Australia, and Japan's Vanilla Air in the low-cost carrier network. Cebu Pacific is also currently the only Philippine carrier which is a member of an airline alliance. Incidents and accidents on 2 February 1998, Cebu Pacific Flight 387, a DC-932 flying from Manila to Cagayan de Oro, crashed on the slopes of Mount Sumagaya in Misamis Oriental, killing all 104 people on board during its approach to Lumbia Airport. On 2 June 2013, Cebu Pacific Flight 971, an Airbus A320-200 registered as RPC-3266 and carrying 165 passengers inbound from Manila, ran off the runway at Francisco Bangoy International Airport and investigators have found the cause was likely human error. There were no fatalities, however, the plane was heavily damaged, and passengers suffered injuries. In 2014, the plane was returned to service. References External links Media related to Cebu Pacific at Wikimedia Commons Official website Official Holidays website